Sounds real? Sounds real? Sounds real? Sounds real. I'm Jason. And I'm Jack. And on today's show, we're going to talk about Contortion, the show last night. The Contortion show. Yes. Contorted Metal. Contorted Metal, yeah. All right. So uh, I hadn't, uh, I I wasn't really familiar with, with any of these bands, to be honest with you. Uh, Handy's Mutation did not play, though. And um, I streamed the album the, the, the day of the show. And actually streamed it twice, and I was like really impressed by it. I said, "Oh yeah, this is going to be a really good show." So we had the opportunity to meet with them, talk to them. Really cool, really cool guys. Yeah, and um, let me tell you, I was really impressed. They had a lot of energy. Their music is kind of hard to describe. It is heavy metal, but uh, to kind of pigeonhole it, it's very difficult. It's called according to them contorted metal and contorted I and metal i like that i yeah, like that that, and, that should be a genre and i, I can kind of see where they're coming from because it was yeah it's, it's all over the place and one song they're, they're shifting from stuff like from thrash to to gent to to i don't know some old school style music death metal thrash metal uh but yeah they're really good um you want to talk about the other bands because I don't know. Well, tell well, me what you take. Well, Contortion, uh, since we jumped right ahead. <laughs> yeah, I just jumped right into the Contortion because I really want to talk about them. They're really that was, good. That was an awesome show, hands down. Uh, really awesome show. One for the books. Yes. Uh, I'm glad we, we head out there and saw it. It was, I mean, <laughs> like you said, it was kind of hard to describe their sound and so that's why we, we did a quick interview with them and they kind of describe in their words what their sound is like so we'll attach that uh to this show so you guys can check out the interview and uh so my take on it it was just it blew me away yeah it, it, it was, the, really the sound uh very talented musicians um, yes i mean really tight really tight i mean that the, the from the solos to the the technical work on the on the guitar, yeah, I mean the drumming, the basses, I mean really tight. Also, uh, I like their image. Yeah, <laughs> that yeah. was one thing. Uh, I mean, the, yeah, he he, he uh, the lead singer. Well, they were all kind of had they all kind of like dressed up for the show a little bit. And when I say dressed up, I mean they look like they dressed up like they were going out to to a fancy restaurant or something. <laughs> yeah, I liked it. I liked it. Yeah, uh, he wore a tie singer. with a nice vest, black the, slacks. Yeah, the vest, black and white. I liked it. Yeah. Black and white ensemble. Um, well, the rest of the members were all in black, but he, yeah. he wore the black and white ensemble, and uh, it was really cool. Yeah, it, it nice was really image. really cool on stage, seeing it on stage with the lights and everything. Um, sound was good. Sound was sound great. Sound was really good that night. Sound was really great last night. Um, everything was EQ'd properly yes uh, I, I felt that bass i don't know if you felt it yes, Every time I the felt bass it. drum was yeah i was like holy smoke yeah it was, it was awesome. so like every song like we were he was talking like jack was talking before you know every song stands out yeah uh, it, it incorporates all kinds of different genres and styles which i really liked uh there were some songs in my opinion that you know had that metalcore influence yeah. Uh, even mixed in with some of that 90s new metal. Mm -hmm. um, layered with some just like black metal in between. <laughs> yeah. It's, 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 everything was like You, you kind of have to in. listen to them to kind of get a feel for what they're going and it what they're It was a nice mixture, a nice blend of these genres, and they incorporated it very well. Mm -hmm. And like he he put it it's contorted metal and i like that i like yeah, that that's, contorted that's a, metal that's a really cool that's real uh, yeah way of describing the, yes. what, what it is and uh we were blessed to hear four new songs that are coming off of their new album that's so right that's, that's right that's gonna uh, come out soon because it's called evolve i i know that the single's out right now on spotify and, and apple. apple so you gotta check these guys out and they're coming through your town you gotta check them out as well and uh yeah so we're highly into well we're, we really want to check it out. This new, the new album. So yeah, so it it was uh, a unique story he told us, you know, about the album that it all happened like kind of during COVID, 
Yeah. Uh, and so this album has been, it's been, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's been, been in the it's, wait. It's, yeah, it's, so it, it's there, it's yeah, there. It's just I, I think it's ready released. to roll. Yeah. It's ready. It's yeah, ready. It's in the can. Uh, so we're just hopefully, hopefully it'll come out soon. So yeah, we're excited to hear uh, the new Contortion album. Uh, stay tuned. We'll let you guys know when it comes out. When it hits uh, streaming platforms, uh, hopefully they'll put it in physical media form so we can yes, probably review it'll it. It'll be a song. Yeah, I was gonna say it's gonna be an album for the listening table. Yeah, definitely for the listening table. Uh, I'm excited to hear that. So those last four songs were just like wow, you know. Um, they incorporated even more <laughs> into those last four yeah, songs. Exactly. Uh, from their well, it's because they're evolving as opposed to their older album. Yeah, yeah they're evolving exactly. They're evolving, yeah. So really good show. Uh, thumbs up for Contortion. Awesome, awesome. Stay tuned. You got to watch them. Uh, hopefully, they were talking about coming back. Yeah, so hopefully, uh, hopefully you, uh, you he, he, he kind of spit out September. So hopefully, that's true. And we'll, you guys need to check them out. Uh, I know this was kind of like a pop-up show. Yeah. So, gonna. you know, they kind of just came and went. Uh, but hopefully, with ample time, you guys need to check it out. You're not going to be disappointed. Uh, there's there's something for everyone actually every metal head out there yeah, yeah and I that's that's so. what I like you know it, it'll satisfy your your craving for the metal the yes satiate yeah, really your good. appetite for metal so moving forward moving on uh, let's talk about the opener uh, so uh, Canis mutation didn't show up so I don't know what happened with that so but they were replaced with uh, Hot Shot Six. Hotshot Six. Uh, uh, they're like an alternative. 90s alternative yeah, style really cool, band. Really yeah, really cool. Yeah, really cool. A lot, a lot of charisma. Interesting Reed stuff Singer going has on. A lot of, uh, a lot of energy. Uh, he's a front man. Reminds me of the old school front men where they, they dominate the stage. Yeah, it kind of reminded me of Jane's Addiction. Yeah, to me, there personally. you go. That's, that ha- they had that that's energy the of Jane's band. Addiction. Yeah, I was trying to think. Where uh, can I kind the, of... The, yeah, the yeah. singer was just all over the place. Uh, he was interacting. He was he was quite funny too as well. Yeah, and uh, I like I like that. And they had that Jane's Addiction there you uh, go. vibe, you know, that energy that Jane's Addiction had. Yeah, um, without the drugs and alcohol, but <laughs> so, but it was really cool. I liked it. Uh, yeah, high it speed was, energy, uh, really cool cats. Mm-hmm. Um, and then of course, Ojo Malo. Ojo Malo played. Uh, yeah. Paso's, uh, one of El Paso's favorites. Yes. Uh, yes. They they Very rocked popular. it down. They rocked it down. Uh, they they gave their set a uh, tight set as well. Um, Absolutely. We haven't we haven't got to those guys yet. Yeah, we'll it's we'll get mix. to them. It's in the mix. Yeah, we'll so. get to them eventually. Yeah. <laughs> uh. But uh, Prayer of the Gods. So Prayer of the Gods uh, reached out to us. Really cool, awesome, and. They kind of told us, "Hey, you guys, want to come down? Let's do an interview. Mm-hmm. Let's check what, check to see what we're all about." Uh, I personally saw very little. Uh, Pray the gods at the Brujeria show. I had never uh, seen back in uh, what was it, February. Yeah, yeah. So I, I went to the show late. So they were they were like on their last two songs. So I didn't really get to uh, experience experience it. it. Take in their music. Uh, and just kind of dissect it and see what they're all about. Mm-hmm. Uh, so this time we did, luckily. Uh, and man, I'm glad <laughs> we got to sell, see them. Yeah. Uh, so we went to the show early, so we got to see all the bands this time. Yes. And uh, was not disappointed. Not, not disappointed. At What's your all. take on uh, Prayer of the Gods? Oh, man. Yeah. So Prayer of the Gods, uh, I, I guess they kind of describe themselves as thrash doom metal, Texas thrash doom metal or something like that. Um, at least that's what this is in the back of their shirts. So I, I kind of assume that that's what, and that's actually kind of a correct, uh, I, I know. Accurate, it, yeah. Yeah. Accurate, it's kind of an odd thing. Description. Kind of, you know, totally different styles of music, thrash and doom, but, um, they kind of pull it through. I mean, they kind of meld it well. I mean, they have that one song that we heard that the closer, oh, and holy the closer. smokes. Yeah, I was very impressed by these guys. Uh, another band that you could tell these, these these cats have been in the scene for a while. They're tight. They they, they got their chops down. They're um, really good songwriting. Songs are really uh, well written, and uh, they have a lot of energy. 
I, I don't know. The way they looked last night with the, the the red lighting and all that fog and stuff, it just they looked awesome. And then just the music just kind of fit in with with that whole imagery that they had. It just I don't know. It was like wow, this is a really cool band. Um, yeah, one of my favorite bands, Val Paso, to be honest with you. I just saw saw them last night, but uh, I'm definitely gonna be following these cats. What yeah, take? yeah. Pray the gods. Uh, my take, you know, and hopefully they'll come out with some physical media. Oh yes, yes. Uh, they said that they're coming out soon. Uh, to the platforms first, streaming platforms. Uh, yeah. I kind of saw that on one of the guys' uh, Instagrams. So pray the gods. Uh, I kind of had no idea. Well, I knew they were heavy <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> from the last show, but I didn't know how intricate and how cool they were, and. You know, they mix it up. They mix it up really nice. You know, they got the death metal uh, mm-hmm. groove and... There's some groove metal, too. Yeah, yeah, it's some groove in there. And they got the doom. You know, it's laden with doom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I like that. I like that nice mix. Where it's just like, what um, the... And they, and they do some old school riffs. Yeah, they do. And I like that. Uh, kind of some old school death metal riffs. Mm-hmm. And I, I kind of miss that, that style. And it's really good. The singer's spot on. Has a re- he has really good growls. Oh yeah, um, really I gotta good. hand it to him. Really good. So vocalist. they, so okay, so like three of the members, uh, the original members, used to be in a band called Not My Master. He was. They were telling us. Mm-hmm. Uh, so they've been around the scene for a long time, and I guess they decided to just kind of regroup and and uh, take mm-hmm. on a new form. And they formed uh, Pray the Gods, so they picked up a new singer not too long ago and a new guitarist. And uh, man, they're really good. Yeah, they're, they're really awesome. good. Uh, uh, so if you have a chance to see them, they're tight. They're tight. They're they're awesome band. It's high energy. Um, you won't be disappointed. And I gotta say, I gotta say, their fan base, man, are they crazy? Crazy kids out there, man. Oh I yeah, gotta hand it to them. I give them thumbs up for them. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just uh, leave that for the show. Yeah. If you're, if you're there, you'll know what we mean. Yeah. So, but anyway, uh, so yeah, we did some. We did even did a quick interview with some yes, of the fans we, for Prayer of the Gods. So check that out on Instagram. Yes. Uh, it's really high energy, really good stuff. Uh, man, check them out next time when they hit. When they hit the stage again uh, in El Paso, I think they're, well they're playing again tonight. But well, but by the time, but this by comes time out, the show comes out, yeah, yeah they've so, already played. Just keep but, an eye uh, out for them. But they are coming out soon with an in, with their own Instagram. Oh, yeah. Uh, so that's gonna be awesome. Uh, make sure to follow them, and uh, then you'll have more insight on when they get to play and stuff. So really good show. Uh, one for the books, man. I mean, definitely, honestly, definitely had, thumbs up. We had a great time. All the bands uh, rocked all it the down. All the bands rocked it down. Uh, hopefully, yeah. uh, we'll get to interview some of the some of the other bands uh, mm-hmm. that we missed that night. But you know, we we haven't forgot you. No. So, in conclusion, like I always say, you know, uh, subscribe, share, like, all that good stuff. Follow us on Instagram you know, and follow Facebook. Us, follow us. Follow us. Follow us. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And Facebook. That's right. Facebook. So. Sounds real? Sounds real. And then...